Hey guys, welcome back. We're gonna fight the dragon and we're gonna do it right this time. We're back to two room. Aren't you glad to be back to two room, Base Bear? Mm -hmm. I know our audience is super glad to be back to two room. Yep. Remember how I was doing this the last time we tried to record this? Yes. <laughs> because I was fucking drowning in the abyss of this game. <laughs> uh, this is the fourth time that I've had to fight this stupid dragon. <laughs> so we actually, uh, we played a large portion of this game, so what you're gonna see is us knowing exactly what we're doing. Um, we had a phenomenal... Jesus. He's dead. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> we, had, we had a time period where we uh, we went through this entire game, trial and error and all, talking to the creator, trying to figure out, the creator being Wilfred Warfstash. Um, we call him Fish. We call him Fish. Uh, you'll pro uh, there will most likely be a link for this game in the description. Um, but we went through this whole thing, and we were recording for so long because of how... Like, all the backtracking and shit you have to do to get all the other side, uh, stuff. Other side stuff. Like, literally ran us in circles, and, and, and it ended up going over two hours, that recording session. And the, the, the software just crashed. <laughs> it's just like, you were playing for too long. There's literally not enough room on your computer. And it's, it's weird, because we still had room. We, sat, we had over, like, yeah. 60 gigabytes left. You know, I think Action just kind of has some pettiness about two long sessions because remember Cthulhu would start cutting around yeah. if we went over like an hour and a half or something yeah. so we started taking breaks so that was crazy I still love that audio it's what funny. are you doing to my swamp <laughs> um, fuck he like boosts a bit yeah it's weird I think that's the point to make it dramatic when yeah. you get there um, but yeah so it's funny that uh, Fish the, the creator sped up all of the sound effects in the game, because it's like he realized how fucking tedious that shit was back <laughs> in the old games. <laughs> Just to save, yeah. <laughs> Just to save a game, you have to listen to the. Like, yeah, we have a lot of money because. Oh, wait. A lot of money. <laughs> I already bought all this shit. Oh, okay, yeah, so you're good. So, just the teleporter stuff in this room, right? Yeah. So, I'm just gonna. Fuck. I should remember what to do. So, the, the, the last. Um, we need a lighter, right? Or a flamethrower. Oh, you need to, I need to get, up there. get up there somehow. How did we do that? I'm to remember. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the old messages and uh, try to remember. Oh, we didn't ask him. I think I just stumbled across it. Just to get it up there, right? What was it? There's a portal somewhere, wasn't there? Oh, it's in the last room, I think. Really? I think. Mm -hmm. I'm like not 100% sure, but we're going to do that. Can you buy cheese yet? No, that's later. Okay. Don't tell me the fucking game. Okay. Oh. Bless you. Bless you. Oh, fuck. So it is 10.50 p.m. Yeah. I'm supposed to be off work at 9.30. Yeah. What happened? That did not happen. Why not? <laughs> so this lady came in in the middle of the shift and was like, hey, did someone drop off a purse? No. I didn't think anything else of it. You're right. Fucking... Kind Get the cell phone, right? Yeah, I'm trying to... It's like, oh, it's out there on the floor. Down, back. Okay. Look at like, like, how like, fucking, fucking impossible it. it is to see that shit. <laughs> but go ahead. So this lady bought the purse. Yeah, she bought the purse. She said if anyone dropped off a purse, like, no, okay, whatever. I didn't think anything of it. Yeah. Oh, nice. So okay. later on, like 8 or 8.30 or so, mm -hmm. she, uh, apparently it got mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. it got stolen. And, uh, yeah, let's, uh, okay. it got, I guess it got stolen from her car or something. She left Shit. the window down. Why someone would do that, I don't know, but, you know. <laughs> Who fucking knows? Yeah, so, they were like, can we look at your fucking cameras to see if we can find the person? Yeah. And we're like, well, we can't just let people do that. Yeah. So, they're like, well, we call the police. I was like, okay, well, when the police get here, you know, we're more than happy to let you watch them. Yeah. Or let the officer watch them. Yeah, yeah. So, once that happens, you know, come back. Okay. okay. So then, nine o'clock we close. Uh huh. So I went out there and I told them, "Hey, we close at nine. So like, we're gonna have to bring everything down. But if the police get here, let us know and I'll open the doors." Like, okay. Okay. My boss was like, "I can't. Like, we cannot stay longer than nine thirty. So if nine thirty comes around and they're not here, we're leaving." Mm. And I'm like, "Okay." And I kind of felt bad, but then he explained to me that the woman doesn't know who stole her purse. And she's just guessing that the person went into GameStop. And it's all conjecture and assumptions at this point. Yeah. So I'm just like, well, then what the fuck? <laughs> so I was like, all right, whatever. 9.30 comes around. 
I clock off, I get everything together, I purchase some shit that I, I got came up Aquaman pop, that's not important, and it's some stuff for uh, strawberry, some Crash Bandicoot stuff that we had. Oh, right on. That I thought she'd like. I'll touch her later. I'm sure, I'm sure she would. <laughs> yeah. And, um... Oh, fuck this shit. Yeah, so I, I did all that, and then, um, 9.31, I go to the door, mm-hmm. and the fucking cop pulls up. And I'm like, oh, shit. I was like, all right, Brian... He's here. It's not his name. It's a made-up name. So, hey, the cop's here. So, okay. So, we let him in the back, and I'm thinking, like, you know, this won't take long. He's just going to get some information, then he's going to he's gonna record the the camera. Yeah. The footage that we have with his phone or something, because that's apparently what they normally do. Huh. That's interesting. Yeah, which is kind of weird, but whatever. Yeah, right? You th- it's kind of primitive. It's like, yeah. you think... You you guys don't bring like some way to make a copy of this? Yeah, because <laughs> I guess because they're out there, they don't have like fucking spare DVDs or whatever. Sure. But that is also an option for them to just have a uh, blank DVDs. We'll uh, give them a copy of it. Mm. And um, like, there's a target right there, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Walk. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, yeah. So he, he comes back, and I had to go stand by the front. But they asked me, like, do you recognize this person? And me being the fucking weirdo who can barely remember my anniversaries and birthdays. I'm like, yeah, they bought four PS3 games. He wanted a headset. He decided against it. He also wanted to do this, this, and this. Yeah. And they're like, okay. Do they look suspicious? Like, no, he's a fucking, like, 12-year-old. <laughs> oh, shit. And they're like, okay. He's <laughs> a 12-year-old. Yeah, he was a 12-year-old kid. Like, <laughs> shit. How, like, I know when a 12-year-old's being suspicious because they're not really fucking oh, shit. Uh, smooth about it, you know? Yeah, that's they're usually true. like... <laughs> You're right, it's true. Damn, I'm fucked, fucked up. I need to turn the corners quicker. Yeah. Every time you give him, like, a, a, a square, like, he's just a square closer every single yeah. time, you know? But, um, yeah, and they're like, okay, well then, whatever, and then I just hung out in the front, just kind of just chilling. Uh-huh. And then, uh, yeah, and then fucking half an hour later, he comes back out, I was like, okay, well, thanks for letting us stay. Uh, we'll finish this up in the front so you guys can take off. I'm like, thank God. And the officer yeah, looks really, not funny, but he looked like a really nice, like, white traditional American dad. That's good. But, like... One that calls his son sport. <laughs> yeah. yeah it, honestly, I, like, I, I had a thought when you said that. I was like, oh, that's good. That doesn't normally happen. And I felt a little shitty. I was just like, oh, man, I'm stereotyping cops. You know, they're all they're all assholes or bitter. Or something. Not so much that. They just kind of, they tend to have, like, a hard look about them. Yeah, right. Like, even like, my friend's dad who works for the sheriff's department. Yeah. He's got, like, a hard look. But this guy looked, like, genuinely, like, a sweet dude. Like, I don't know what he's doing as a cop. <laughs> yeah, I guess I just sort of have a sour taste in my mouth. Because when my, my girlfriend got in a car accident... Like, there was... The three cops were there, and none of them really had any concern for the well-being of anyone involved in the crash. And it was just, like... They were, like, going through... Like, it was tedious that they had to be there and yeah. do their job. Uh, it's just, like... God damn it, you know? Why do you, why do you make me stereotype you, you... Son of a bitch. <laughs> son of a bitch. No, I get that. I get that. You and, uh... Oh. They're okay. poor, so you have, like, not that great experiences with police they, yeah. in general. I've never had, like, a, a bad experience. Yeah. So, if like, you I, make it now, I'm going to be surprised as shit. That's not mine, man. No. Yeah, nice. Yeah, we made it. Oh, my God, that is insane. because, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, all the encounters I've had with police, like, the worst one, probably, mm-hmm. was uh, this time when I got in my first car accident. They're like, were you drinking? Were you on drugs? Because mm-hmm. yeah. it was already a pretty, uh, I told them... That I, that my dad told me to tell them that uh, I saw an animal like run across the road and I lost control and I hit the, hit the curb. Yeah. But what really happened was, not a lot of people know about, when I used to work at Home Depot, it would be midnight shift, yes. but I would spend my nights talking to my girlfriend at the time. Uh-huh. So I would be operating like three hours of sleep, driving my car, you know? Yeah. So like it was it was already a bad situation, so I ended up like passing out, yeah. crashing my car. And they were like, were you on drugs? Were you on, like, are you drinking anything? Like, no, man, I'm just going to work. Yeah. And they're like, okay. But they, they saw that I was okay, so they weren't giving me, like, too much of a yeah. thing. But, like, yeah, I've just never really had a bad experience. I wonder I wonder if, like, they ask anyone that question, like, were you on drugs? Were you drinking? And everyone's like, yeah, man. <laughs> totally. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, it depends. Uh, like, someone answers, like, define drugs. <laughs> it's like, oh, and the cop is just like, oh, god damn it. <laughs> it's just it's like... Like magic mushrooms are nature, man. <laughs> Legalize nature, bro. Yeah, like I can imagine that. I can imagine like someone answering like, "Well, you know, I had like a drink." In reality, they mean like seven. <laughs> I guess I, what I think they, um, because they always ask you how many drinks you had and how long ago, right? Yeah. So the legal limit, I think, if you're over, uh, a good well, way, a good way to determine uh, the legal limit without, huh? Kind of jumped. 
Like it, it froze. Ooh. But like everything froze. So oh, even the weird. timer like jumps. Ooh. So I mean that should be fine. Okay. Timer's still going. I think it's okay. It's so weird. Yeah. Um But yeah, I think cops can sort of determine if you're on the legal limit if the amount of hours it's been since you started drinking and the amount of drinks you are are directly proportionate. So if it's been four hours since you started drinking and you say you had four drinks, mm. that means you should be right at the legal limit, technically. Okay. Um, if you're not lying and everything is in yeah. order, right? Um, if, you, if, they, if you say that, they'll probably check you because to be on the border is risky as shit. Yeah. Um, but let, let's say it's been like six hours and you said you had two drinks... On that account alone, you're probably fine. If the way you're acting or speaking does not match that account, <laughs> then obviously there's more questions there. But yeah, so like if you're ever in a tight situation and you think you think you're acting fine, but you might be over the limit or something like that, tell them fewer drinks than the amount of hours it's been since you drank. <laughs> and like Make eight that, drinks yeah. ten hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> you started drinking at ten AM. <laughs> I have no control of my life. <laughs> my wife divorced me. <laughs> my my cat died. And, and He's my, my best friend. Yeah, and my dog left me <laughs> for the neighbors. <laughs> they feed him authority instead of Target my, brand. <laughs> my, my dog left me and I forgot to feed my wife. <laughs> oh, the cop's like, okay. That's <laughs> uh, funny. Uh, but yeah, I've never really had a bad... Occurrence. I think I've just no, been lucky because mainly because we also live in a place where it's mainly minority officers. Yeah, yeah. This officer was, was like a white dude, but he was really polite too. Like I said, he was just kind of this like he wasn't chubby, but he was kind of like on the heavy side and just had like a really sweet voice, really sweet. Was kinda. he bald? Nah, he okay. had hair. Never mind. I'm thinking of someone else. There, there is a cop in our area that I've actually seen on a consistent basis. He's actually really funny. Oh, really? He, he went to my high school too. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. It was when Coyote got into a situation and that. I was involved in, and I ended up getting questioning and. That can oh I know which one I was like yeah. that could encompass a whole lot of things. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I know uh, which one you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, but uh, I ended up. Oh, this this place is really laggy. Yeah, by I'm, the way. I'm skipping this dialogue because it's super laggy. You're not gonna be able to. Yeah. Yeah, it's just we're leaving behind rocks like uh, the fucking. The rocks you were sitting on, right? The giant yeah. dildo. Yeah. yeah, it's like a, uh, cancel and get Yeah, there you go. But we don't need to because we the it's, <laughs> fish is kind of enough to oh shit. To lay out the path for us. Yeah. Which is good, because I would probably have broken the game. <laughs> Trying to if, solve this. Yeah, especially with the lag and everything. If it wasn't, so, if it didn't have lag, I would have been more fine. Yeah. Damn it. Still frustrating. Yeah, so I'm at a Damon right now. Oh, okay. He, uh, he uh, convinced me to watch The Office. You haven't? I've never watched The Office. <laughs> okay. I just completed all nine seasons last night. Oh, shit. I started probably like a couple of weeks ago. Wow. That's pretty good timing. Yeah, I I I don't sleep a lot <laughs> in general. Yeah. So, and um, yeah. So I finished it last night, and completely honest with you, I honestly cried <laughs> at the it's, end. It's a fucking. It was it just too destroys much. you, yeah. man. It's honestly a beautiful, beautiful fucking show. It is. How do you take something so boring and mundane, <laughs> like a setting like that, people, and and. And make it that tear jerkingly yeah. beautiful. I was good. I was holding it, and then uh, Michael Scott came back, and he's like, "That's what she said." Yeah. <laughs> and it yeah. broke me. <laughs> I was fucking like crying and laughing at the same time. Right. Yeah. I was like, "He came back. <laughs> he's Dwight's best man, best in Minch." <laughs> yeah. Like that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it got me. I was like, "Fuck!" But yeah. then the whole they were talking about their, they're making like speeches and shit. And, uh, Ed Helms, who's uh, one of the characters from Hangover, he gets the tattoo on his face. Yeah, he that's had right. like a major breakdown on a, a show, so everyone was making fun of him. Uh huh. But he makes like this really big speech at the end. At, yeah, like, the university. At the university, right? Yeah, and yeah. everyone like loves him, and he thought that people hated him, and I was no. like, oh man, this it, shit's so good because he's such a wreck, right? And, yeah. and he's an emotional wreck. He has all these issues, and he has a lot of insecurities, and then he actually finds a support. Like uh, community, supportive yeah. community, and it's he finds his place, right? Because that's what he's looking for. Yeah. You know, is he does he want to be Michael's right hand man? Does he want to be this? Does he want to be cool with Jim? You know, it's, you can see him trying so hard to just find a place, and he finally has it. That's what I really like. It had a happy ending for like everyone. Yeah, yeah. Everyone got their own thing worked out. Totally. Um, the only one maybe is Toby. 
Yeah. <laughs> totally. But like, yeah, like they still invited him to the after party, so he had kind of a happy thing. But then yeah. they even pointed out, I was like, yeah, but then the party's over. I'm like, fuck you, dude. <laughs> You got invited, all right? Leave him alone. Yeah. But it's funny how people shit on him so much. It's amazing. Like, even uh, Andy takes over at one point. He's like, how do you not get murdered every second of the day? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, fuck, dude. <laughs> I think the point of him is to show how unemotional he is. Yeah. So, so the, the show thrives on people, right? Because the setting is boring, and everything is so boring about the show if it wasn't for the people. Yeah. So Toby is a very boring person. So he's supposed to be like, as much as you might feel bad for him from time to time, you feel bad for him because he's the most uninteresting character in the show. Why are you? You got this. You got. You know he's actually a writer. Is it really? Show. Oh shit, that's cool. And um, he he didn't want to act on it. He was just supposed to be like a background character. Uh huh. Because he is normally like a very quiet person. Yeah. And he was like, I don't think I'd make it very good. But then by the end of it, everyone was like complimenting him. It's like you're such a great actor. And he's like, thanks, man. Oh, that's cool. But he wrote a few episodes, and the episodes he in, he doesn't uh, talk, like, nearly at all. Come I, on, I damn was it! Gonna say, it looks like you're about to break this computer. God damn it. <laughs> now there's fighting? I hate you, fish. Right? This didn't happen before. And there's this theory that um, Toby's actually the Scranton Strangler. <laughs> yeah. And like, That's why he's so interested in telling everybody about it because he's so uninteresting. Yeah. So he becomes a strangler, and then he becomes. Wait, is he? Is the does the theory still say that he's on the jury for the case? No, yeah, yeah. he said that. Um, I guess the car uh-huh. looked the same as his car. Oh. Uh. Because the car that they're following is actually the same as Toby's car. Oh. Uh. So they explained that they arrested someone else by accident. Yeah. And Toby got chosen to be the jury. So that he he made it he made it seem that uh that the person was the stranger yeah. when in reality he wasn't, and then when he show he starts feeling guilty about it when he shows up to go uh, uh visit the strangler yeah he like I guess the theory was that he tells the strangler this truth in order to for like hoping that he would get attacked oh, just to cement the truth there <laughs> oh shit yeah and I was like fuck but then, like before that it like it added up really well, well that's pretty I was, good like, holy shit dude <laughs> I feel like I'd make it so that because. He says he's not supposed to talk about the case, and so he can't give details about it, even though he goes on to talking about it. I feel like, like, like there is no jury or trial even going on. It's just like he's just spending time strangling. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's just the Scranton strangler. Why is it doing this? It won't like. It won't. It like, just skips it. Safe, just so you know. <laughs> I don't need it to freeze on a battle and. <laughs> God damn it. I'm just gonna, like, see if I can try when the game isn't. Yeah, because we didn't have this issue before. No, He's I mean. Like, legitimately just skipping that one tile. Look, see? That's bizarre. I hit it once and then I press it down. What the fuck? It's the same fucking thing. Yeah! Oh, go down. Fuck you! Oh, oh no. no! Don't go back. Okay, oh, okay. okay, okay. Um, Do you go to the chest or? And try. Okay. That was so weird. What? Fish, your game is broken. <laughs> like me. <laughs> it could use some polishing up. Oh, no, God. I think it's gonna do it to you. <laughs> it's like you try once and it doesn't work, and then you try again, and then it registers both of your tries and goes <laughs> over. God damn it! Are you on a constant Sanic? I am. Let's turn it off. Yeah, let's try. We didn't have this on before. Constant Sanic is a constant sprint. I know. Well, I know you know. 
<laughs> hey, I have solutions. I'm going to university. <laughs> oh god, spoilers. Oh no. Actually, knowing our editor, this will probably come out after yeah. <laughs> to the goodbye. I couldn't even watch it. Hmm? I can't take myself seriously. <laughs> I'm like, I get like super embarrassed when I watch myself like acting. act seriously. Not even like acting because I can no. watch our skits. Yeah, yeah. But like acting because, seriously yeah, is like something true. else entirely. It was pretty funny. Yeah, it was good. I saw, I saw a good chunk. <laughs> <laughs> You're what I saw. Yeah, you were pretty good. You did your. You actually did sound kind of like a Heath Ledger. That was what I was going for. <laughs> I really studied those skits. For, uh, that scene. <laughs> the scene, yeah. <laughs> I think it would have been better at Jake Gyllenhaal, but whatever. <laughs> Gyllenhaal's insane, dude. Yeah. Like, he's literally insane. He's essentially Nicholson. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen. Oh, you've seen Nightcrawler. Yeah. Fuck, dude. That. He's fu- yeah, Jake is Jake Gyllenhaal is definitely up there, my favorite actors. Fuck, I never damn it. I, there's always actors I forget to consider when I come up with these lists like in, in the past. I'm just like, alright, I really love Edward Norton. Uh yeah. he's definitely way the fuck up there, but holy shit, dude, Jake Gyllenhaal's gotta be he's really good, gotta man. be gotta be like right up there. Brian Cranston is absolutely one hundred percent there. Mm-hmm. Um after his performance in Breaking Bad. But yeah, I, I think I, I definitely have to consider Jake Gyllenhaal for things like Donnie Darko and uh, and, and that's not even the best performance. It's just a, a memorable one. It's uh, one of his yeah. most memorable. Yeah. Um, he did it. No more lag. God. Oh, thank fuck. Oh, so let's get political here on Neobear. No, oh, please. <laughs> no, one thing I just... I've been watching... I've been watching a lot of right-wing shit, bro. Why? Because you gotta know your enemy. It just makes you mad. <laughs> it just makes me mad. It, yeah. Okay, so... Uh, liberals make me mad sometimes, too, though. <laughs> no, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. kind of weird, because, like, I like liberals, and I feel like I'm more liberal, but then I hear things about safe spaces, <laughs> and I'm like, that's stupid. <laughs> You're stupid. You're just making it easier for us to get shot. Because, yeah. <laughs> like, it's a... It doesn't make sense. Like, it's a safe space. Guns are not allowed. I'm like, guns aren't fucking allowed in theaters. <laughs> it still happens. Yeah, even if you turn it into, like, some intellectual safe, safe space where you don't want to be criticized and, you know, you just want to accept yourself and uh, whatever. Like, like your identity is some non-negotiable sort of thing that you get to decide. No, you don't. <laughs> Every, like, it's... Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be... I'm totally ripping off Jordan Peterson, who is what, who I wanted to get into. It's fine. No one else who watches the channel knows who that is. Yeah, okay. Whatever. <laughs> but, uh, but Louis C.K. Most people know Louis oh, okay. C.K., and he has a great line, and Jordan Peterson actually brings him up. Oh, you're right. You gotta go, like, back, right? Um, he has a great line where he says, If someone calls you an asshole, you don't get to debate that. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, if, if, if someone says... You're an asshole. You get to say you don't get to say no, because it's not up to you. Yeah, <laughs> it's not up to you to decide you're if kinda, you're an asshole. <laughs> you're kind of biased. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Your identity is such a social negotiation. And it's always being developed all the time. Yeah. So to, to think that it's just this solely subjective, it's like it's like saying you get to decide on your reputation. You don't. <laughs> you can do the, you make your decisions but the reputation that's is the consequence is a, a social thing it's all negotiated within and that uh that boils down to something as basic as pronouns you know where you think that you get to just choose your pronouns yeah. um like that's this is a non-negotiable thing uh like your identity is when in reality um we're constantly negotiating these things and 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 when uh, this is really right wing. I don't. I don't know if I'm, I even believe uh, what I'm about to say here, but like, uh, when your identity is going against biology, or what's generally considered in biology, and you think that, oh, damn it, <laughs> I got lost, <laughs> and and you think that um, you can sort of separate it completely from biology. Make it a completely sociological thing, right? Like, pronouns are completely just... Society determines them, right? It has nothing to do with your biology. And you want to look at it that way. When in history, we have looked at it in terms of biology for, like, centuries. Um, and you think that you can just make that decision on your own. As if 
no one else has anything to say about it, maybe you can go down first. Yeah, that's, I think that's what we did last time. Yeah. I was fucking having trouble remembering. Yeah. Well, you went left anyway. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant... No, because last time we hit the button, then we went down. Oh. Continue. Yeah. So that's... That's the, that's the sort of shit, like... I think it's an ongoing discussion with the gender pronouns thing. And uh, maybe there's more to be said, but... As far as I can tell... This... this They don't want to have a conversation about it. Yeah. Right? They, oh, Jesus! I did it. That's what's important. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, I kind of had that issue, too, when I was working um the medical field uh -huh. for fucking briefly, uh -huh. um, where nice job. people would argue that, like, well, it's your pronoun. You could put down whatever you want when I'd ask you at the hospital if you're male or female because there's right. only one gender. It's like, okay, I get that, but they're not going to think to look for prostate cancer in a fucking female if you write down your female. It's not about what you identify as. It's what you were born as. Yeah. That's what they're looking for. They don't give a fuck what you do on the, like, in your free time. They care more about what sicknesses to look for. Because it is gender-specific sicknesses out there. Yeah, exactly. And then and that, they'll, they'll make the distinction, right? They'll say male and female is not the same as man and woman. That's what they say, right? Yeah. So male and female is the biological parts you were given. Now, there are some intersex people who are born with sort of mixed parts. It's a very small minority, but it happens. And maybe there's some negotiation there, but what usually happens is they end up deciding on one and they get surgery to, to be consistent with that. with that. And then it should be clear from there. But um, So they would say that there are such thing as male women. Explain. Tran transgender, transsexual. Oh, okay. Male parts... Everything else about them, sociologically, the way they behave, the way they act, the way they dress, all that stuff, expressively, is woman. Okay. Um, and, I don't know, the, to, to put so much emphasis on pronouns, I think, is so silly. It's like they, they want to force people to either invent new pronouns, use the new pronouns that they've invented, which there's, like, over 70... Um, Jeez, man. yeah, like, and there, there are states that have recognized them as like actual pronouns. <laughs> um, or, or they just get in your fucking face if you like, you miss it up because it's a, it's a male who looks like a woman. You, you try to call him a she, you know, because you think that that's the whole image that they're going for. And then they get pissed cause they actually go by he, <laughs> you know, like they go by the biological one, you know? And, and it's like, we well, I can't keep up with all this shit. <laughs> We, we have never needed to force the development of language. Language always develops on its own. Yeah. Um, and and to, to suggest that we do need to force it is where, you know, if you're right-wing, you call it fucking tyranny and you overblow it and you think it's, or, you know, maybe it's not overblown. Maybe there's something really dangerous about freedom of speech, you know, if they're trying to force this shit. Because apparently uh, Jordan Peterson is a Canadian, so in Canada... They're actually trying to legislate hate crimes under not using people's pronouns. Yeah. So, uh, the cringy face that you make is the response <laughs> that you should have. Because that's dangerous. Nice. Nice. Nice Pokemon Go playing. Nice, man. <laughs> um, so, I lost so much weight by sucking at this game. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah. like. So, what I'm saying is... As much as I do agree with maybe the compassionate mind that the liberals have on the, you know, the, the acceptance or the tolerance and the welcoming of the transgender community, I think there's a lot right about what they're saying. I think there's something very clear-headed about the right wing's disapproval of the bullying that's going on in terms of pronouns right now. Yeah. You know, I, I think they're worried about something very real, um, and the left liberals don't want to have a conversation about it and that for me that's like a huge red flag anyone that's saying fuck you you're wrong we don't want to talk about it use my pronouns you know anybody not wanting to discuss the situation is already like not <laughs> not not okay right yeah yeah i think i talked about this on the last time we recorded this but didn't go through yeah right <laughs> yeah or uh, i got in, i didn't get in a fight with a guy but on facebook my cousin posted something about how uh, Trump wants to go back to Afghanistan because there's minerals there. Yeah. That's his excuse. Yeah. And there's companies there that have private militaries and they don't really have to follow the law so they can do whatever the hell they want. Yeah. So uh, Essentially, like, almost like mercenaries. Yeah, exactly. So, um, my, I guess, like, a friend of his was like, where's your sources? Where's this? You know? 
and yeah. like not in a nice way either like it was yeah. very like a hostile tone and my cousin was like listen i'm not gonna change your mind anyways so you know yeah. i just wanted to get this off my chest it's been on my mind for a while yeah so you know i'll see you later yeah but i just put it i put a his i found the source like 30 yeah. seconds on google yeah and i posted it and damn dude he got upset he was like first of all how dare you think about me or think <laughs> for me oh yeah and i'm like dick i'm not thinking for you yeah. <laughs> i'm trying to show you that it's fucking easy to google something yeah and obviously you didn't want to like have a debate or else you would have just checked for yourself yeah you just want to like be like whoa whoa, whoa that source isn't good or just like start yeah. a fucking fight yeah and then uh, he, like, put something else, and I just sent a thumbs emoji back. The thumbs up. <laughs> oh, yeah, you said he put up, like, a fucking paragraph yeah. of shit. And it was, like, it was almost like a TLDR thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he never responded, but my cousin liked both of my comments. So I was like, That's whatever. Funny. Yeah. Like, I tell my cousin, I'll tell my cousin next time I see him, if he brings it up, <laughs> like, your friend's a dick. <laughs> yeah. No, seriously, I mean, there are good and bad ways to engage. Dude, the fucking game broke. I swear to God. What happened? Look. We're in fucking circles, man. How many rooms over do we have to... Or remember, not. Remember, it didn't... It had to restart, remember? What the fuck? Oh, it did? Yeah, remember yeah, when man. you go outside, it restarts. It goes... It takes you back to the first room. Hey, man, I thought we were just fucking doing this shit. <laughs> I was like, what the hell just I, happened? I just had, a, like, a deja vu of the same reaction when it happened the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. And this guy's in the wrong game. Um, yeah, like, instead of being, where's your sources? Where's your sources? It should be like, that's really interesting. I haven't heard too much about this. Do you know where I could read up a little more on yeah. it? And then you can politely say, no. <laughs> <laughs> I did your thinking for you. <laughs> I, this is essentially the extent of what I've read. You can Google the title. I'm sure you'll get some shit. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, because I put like really vague Trump Afghanistan minerals and yeah. it was the first article. <laughs> <laughs> like it's that hard. And you don't I, have to be specific with Google. I feel like people think that, but you can just put keywords. Yeah, you could look in news. You could honestly go to Google Scholar. Literally just go Google. If, if Google I don't know Scholar. what that is, <laughs> normal people are not gonna know what that is. <laughs> That's true. It's basically like a quick database for like scholarly articles. So oh. generally, you find better stuff than what's on regular Google, even on the news tab. Um. So I think you can just type Google Scholar into Google, and it'll be like another search engine. Okay. And it's just, they're just supposed to be better. Yeah, it's hard to find current stuff, though. That's the thing. Because yeah. it's it takes a long time for shit to get published into Google Scholar. Because oh, okay. it's such an, yeah, an arduous process. Uh, but yeah, so anyways. I kind of wanted to transition this whole super openness of the liberals about pronouns. And then the really confined thinking of the conservatives. Um... Because there's bad things about both of those, right? Yeah. Um, and I wanted to relate that to uh, this little talk I heard from Jordan Peterson and how he defined or how he sort of described liberal thinking versus conservative thinking. And he says, you can find out if someone is more liberal or more conservative by asking them about one issue. And it's the issue of the borders. The borders in the United States. Should we have open borders or should we have more closed borders? And whatever their answer is will tell you about most of their beliefs in terms of politics. Okay. So the way it works is conservatives will want closed borders because conservatives are very orderly and they're very like um, industrious. Like they work hard and they like things structured and they like structure. And uh, the reason you find racists in conservatives is because they want to section off races, you know? And yeah. they, they, a lot of them might not find that. Uh, they might not realize they're thinking that way, but they that's just how they intuitively think. They want to they want to section off and uh, order order keep make order in everything, right? So you find the issue with the borders. Maybe it's even state borders, city borders, whatever issue you can come off. Someone who's like purely conservative, purely purely, is going to want to keep thing every, every everything ordered and clean and sectioned off and easier to deal with because it's easier to deal with that way. Now, that's why you've, you people tend to think conservatives are really close-minded. They're not interested in opening their mind because that lets in chaos and it lets in you know, disorder, right? They can't deal with too many things. I'm going to make a children's book called Conservative, Conservative Charlie and Liberal Larry. <laughs> it, the first page is going to be them playing with crayons and Conservative Charlie going, Blacks, go with Blacks. <laughs> purple, go with Purple. <laughs> and Liberal... Staying in the lines yeah. and everything. Yeah. And then Liberal Larry just... 
a mess eating glue. Yeah. <laughs> Both of them are idiots in my comic. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's such, that's such a good idea. But um, let's do it. Publish yeah, the book, right? <laughs> I know illustrators. Um, <laughs> so, so 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 essentially, yeah. So um, there are, you can be too conservative, right? Where it gets to the point where you're trying to section off race and you're being racist, and you think that people you can be shouldn't too conservative. What we call racist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and then you have the liberal minds who just open up everything, right? They they want everything in. They want to. They 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 like the chaos because that's how they grow. Yeah, but they like then, the dialogue. That can yeah. be too bad. Of course it can. Of course. Then you know. they'll be like, like what you said, where it's like, well, you have to say the pronouns or it's a hate crime. Yeah. It's like, wh- yeah, exactly. I, what? <laughs> it, they're so tolerant that they become intolerant. Yeah. That and it's this paradox that they find themselves in. It's like, why aren't you as open minded as I am? You know, and and which is such you know this is the paradox. It's a closed-minded way to think. Yeah. You know, um, and and that's how they get. And and so, there are times when it's really good to be a conservative-thinking person. This is the ri- this is the reason why conservatives tend to be better wealth uh, in terms of money and wealth is they know how to budget and section off their money and and you know deal with it orderly, and they know how much to spend and how much they can spend and and you know. Look at a fucking conservative's office. Look at their room. It's all put together. You know, these are this is just the way they think is is how they section off their whole life, and they they can even progress in general because they know how to make plans, follow those plans, keep a schedule. You know, all these things are really practical. Conservatives are super practical, like ultimately pragmatic, um, and liberals are deep thinkers. Liberals are very idealistic and they're very intellectual and they, uh, but you can be a useless intellectual. You can be a fucking smart person who doesn't function in the world. Those are annoying. Yeah, you know it's <laughs> you know PhD you know, people with PhDs who end up being homeless. Uh, not all. No, obviously there can be really complicated issues there, but. Uh, the reason Base Bear is putting all the rocks back, by the way, is because you'll see right Cause now. Because I'm a conservative Larry. <laughs> <laughs> you missed them. I'm con- tired. <laughs> conservative. conservative Carl. Um, Charlie. Sorry. Charlie, okay. Conservative Carl? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I <laughs> guess. Charlie if you want and Larry. Yeah. That thing. But yeah. Whatever, fine. I don't know. Whatever you want to do. That's There's an alliteration in one place or another. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Any- Anyways, so I think if I had to give examples... Samples? Samples. Examples. My sister... It's it's almost like it becomes personality, right? Sure, like, okay. Yeah. I feel like I gotta ask that every time. <laughs> yeah. um, it's, a, it's almost like it's a personality thing, right? There are some people who are just messy. And, you know, you see those posts, like, on Facebook. is like, look at all these geniuses with messy desks. Like, messiness is a sign of geniuses wow. and everything like that. And it's like, are we just gonna disregard geniuses with clean desks? Yeah. Like, <laughs> are we just not gonna think about that? Because there is something really useful about um, conservatives, or at least conservative thinking, you know, the, the sort of... I think it's like, he's a genius because he has a mess- messy desk. I'm like, no, he's a genius who coincidentally is a mess. <laughs> <laughs> or, or it just sort of, uh, maybe it says something about their personality, and that type of personality is sort of conducive to the way that they are a genius, you know? But there are plenty of conservative geniuses who are geniuses because they know how to keep a clean desk. Yeah. You know, um... And that's all about their their personality as well. There's the cheese if you want to do that. Um, Even so need these weapons, honestly. So yeah. So what I what I think personally, what I'm trying to get to is uh, when is it good to be a conservative thinking person, and when is it good to be a liberal thinking person? Uh, and I think I'm definitely more liberal for sure. Uh, I almost said conservative because I'm. Just mixing up my words now, but I, I'm definitely uh, liberal leaning. But man, it wouldn't hurt to think like a conservative from time to time, right? Yeah, it, it's, it's like a lot of people tend to nowadays tend to just uh, what's the word when you kind of just shove something into one place? Uh, I don't know, marginalize or uh, no, it's called marginalize. It's not smarter <laughs> than what I was, gonna, what, I was uh, what I was thinking. I think marginalize kind of means shoves off to the side. Um, okay, uh. Penny nook, something like that. I don't know. It's some weird word. Anyways, okay. uh, they tend to just um, think liberals are one thing or conservatives are one thing. They don't think mm. that you can be a mix. It's almost like, for like instance, stereotype. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. For instance, I think there should be harder gun laws. Yeah. But I also want guns. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you to ban the guns. <laughs> just make it harder for people to get guns. Sure. Yeah. Like there's one guy who uh, who shot up the 
club in uh, Florida. Uh huh. That he was on lists, but they still sold him weapons. And yeah, that yeah. Stuff. But I think I think because um, California, just that's the only one that I think there's more. But California has the strictest gun laws. Yeah, yeah. Nevada has like, little to none. Yeah, my like, cousin has like seven guns, uh-huh. and one of them's an assault rifle. <laughs> Like and like another one's a big ass magnum and he yeah. got them all day of. Yeah. You know, they're like, let me check your background. Okay, you're good. Here's your gun. Good yeah. shooting. And like it's like like they're and crime and gun crime isn't that bad, but um, like in Carson City, the worst thing that ever happened was a guy mm-hmm. shot up a pizza factory. Mm-hmm. Like it's not not like a factory with pizza. It's like a place like a restaurant. Okay, yeah. That's like the worst thing to ever happen. Yeah. Did um, you just kill her? How's she there? Oh, that's our friend. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> um. So, like, yeah, I think it should be harder, but I also want guns. I think safe spaces are stupid. Yeah. But I also understand why people would think that that, that'd be, like, a solution. Well, I think, yeah. So, safe spaces uh, in universities is silly. Like, okay, sure, we shouldn't have bullying to the extent where it's getting in the way of your education, right? We shouldn't um, allow a level of like hate to just run rampant and just tell everyone to deal with it and be stronger right because obviously that can get really pathological people you know we see it all the time that the suicide rate amongst transgenders is insane and and to say that that's just because they have a mental disorder which some people say is um it seems like a lot like to say that there's no sociological factor in the reason transgender people are committing suicide when you consider how much they're bullied and how much people don't accept them And, and even like Everyone's sort of taken taken back by a transgender person. I think we're a we're a long way from being completely just unfazed by um, uh, by a, a trans person in the room or like a trans person at a party that you're at. You're yeah. always a little curious. Obviously, there are people who have had more exposure to them, so they're completely normal, uh, and it's not a big deal to them. But where we are, it's not exactly common. We don't see them everywhere, so. Uh, where I'm going right now, actually, uh, for university, there's a lot more. So I, st- I, I feel I feel myself having to get used to them. And I know that there are people who are more close-minded that get freaked out. And they think it's wrong and unnatural and they want to say this horrible shit. He died instantly. Yeah, fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, so to say that their suicide rate... As scary as it this is. This isn't lag, he's just dramatic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Their suicide rate is just because of some biological thing or some psychological thing is, is a little, is pretty close minded. I think there's plenty of evidence to suggest otherwise. But, anyways. I, don't I agree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll jump in, sorry. I think, there, I think there still needs to be evidence on it because. Because we used to just call it gender dysphoria, and it was a, a psychological thing, you know. But then again, so was homosexuality at that yeah. point, you know, and that's insane. Um, yeah. I still, I, I think the reason conservatives also tend to be Christian um, is because they don't like the moral fluidity of the, of the uh, alternative. Right, they need to have their morals sectioned off into a fucking book, <laughs> you know. And, and the alternative is, we as a race are f- constantly figuring it out and improving our moral code based on the well-being of everyone. And animals are going to be included in that. I think when we all fucking wake up to that shit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's that's a very constant and uncertain process. Conservatives don't like that. They don't like you know. They need it more structured, especially something as important as morality. So they need a book, you know. Yeah. And um, that's that's what a stupid book, but a book nonetheless. Yeah, I mean, I mean, they're interesting stories. <laughs> they're good fables. Yeah, yeah. I think I think yeah, I think they're good fables. Someone actually, P- Peterson, because uh, he's Christian. I put huge air quotes on Jordan Peterson claiming to be Christian okay. because when he talks about that. It is one big fucking metaphor. <laughs> it is like God is the metaphor for the ideal ideal, and Jesus is the ideal physical man, and everything is just this metaphor for its archetypes, and it's just like, okay, but did it really happen? <laughs> okay, so then you're not the problem. We're concerned with people who think it really happened and, you know, want to deny things as... It throws me off. People, yeah. like, legit believe that this dude turned water into wine. It's like, but... 
but why don't people do that now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like he he like multiplied fish in in bread, and like yeah, that happened. I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> right? Like what about your reality today suggests that that's even mildly possible? Yeah. Like okay, some <laughs> dude said like says he can multiply. Uh, fish and bread into water to wine and he asks you for money you're gonna give it to him yeah right yeah and he and when you say no he says well you gotta have faith you're gonna tell no because then there's just more hypocrisy yeah exactly and, and it's like uh, everyone says like you know all these rich people uh, in the bible gave up everything they had to follow this guy and it's like well yeah according to the story they saw him do fucking magic <laughs> you know I'll fucking throw away my laptop if it means I get magic I get to hang out with the magic man <laughs> David Blaine will give me all these tricks for two bucks <laughs> fuck yeah <laughs> yeah it's like it, you know like like we're like their level of faith is the same that we're expected to have yeah. like no you it, even Satan knew God existed, yeah. and he denied him. And that's and you ain't real, yeah. And, Satan, and, please, <laughs> <laughs> nah. You know, and you it's a like, metaphorical idea. <laughs> Lucifer, please, <laughs> I made you. Nah, I don't believe that shit. <laughs> right, like like Christians think that atheists are making the same choice that Satan did. Satan was like fucking one on one best buds with God. We have no reason to think he even exists. Yeah. This is a completely different choice. <laughs> I think if, like, if any supernatural thing happened, I'd have to really reconsider my life. <laughs> right? Like, like, like if, anything at all. Yeah, like, <laughs> if fucking Chupacabra frown, real Chupacabra, not just some, like, really bad YouTube video. I'd have to be like, if that exists, werewolves exist. If that exists. <laughs> and then Where eventually I'd be like, that means angels and demons exist. That means God exists. What is my life? <laughs> and it's like, which God? <laughs> It can't just be one. <laughs> I better cover all my bases. <laughs> You're wearing like a cross, a fucking Hindu like God, uh, did, scarf. I don't know. <laughs> did you ever see the, the movie The Mummy? Uh, long ass time. There's or this, the new one. No, no, the old okay. one. Yeah, the, long ass time. The original, ago. the good one. Yeah. <laughs> There's one character. I forgot his name, but he's like um, the main character's friend. He becomes the mummy's uh, like chaperone or best friend or whatever. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that was such a good fucking character just in so many ways but one of the ways that showed me that he was a good character is at one point he starts praying mm -hmm. but he takes out a cross and it's not working so he takes out the star <laughs> of David <laughs> I remember this and he takes out like a shit ton yeah. he has like everything covered yeah. I was like this fucker's prepared yeah. <laughs> now that's what I call being pragmatic yeah exactly <laughs> so that's like immediately what I thought by like just having a, your bases covered just having like a whole yeah. bunch of fucking necklaces. Remember to say no here. Yeah. Yeah. Then he goes on a speech about how he Definitely. has no will. You, okay, so I guess you didn't have any choice. Or maybe you meant there's no mean challenge boss at the end of this game. Hell if I know. All I know is I was programmed to fight you. So how about it? Ready? No, no, say no. No. Alright. Get go get ready then. I'll be here. And then you talk to him again? He goes on a oh, okay. spiel. Hey kid. I'm sorry about this. I know you probably don't want to fight. But I have to. You don't understand what it's like to have been programmed. Let me explain this to you. It's all, it all started when I was put in a game called Undertale. That game was great for me. I had complete freedom over what I could do. My program was loose enough to let me do pretty much anything. It was all my own choices. It was almost a, par a paradise. Except, if the player decided to kill everyone, I was forced to fight. I was the final battle in the game. Well, there is. The hardest enemy. The hardest. <laughs> Man, a bone. Uh, bone, and he's a bone. Ah. bone. <laughs> Even though I wanted to stop the killer, I knew I couldn't in the end. And it'd all be for nothing. It's a problem. Don't be a dick. <laughs> when you want to do something. But no, it will change nothing. Since I'll just keep trying. And trying. Trying. <laughs> Try. God. Try. Ink. <laughs> <laughs> now, here. It's exactly the same thing. Except I don't have a choice to fight. I'm forced to here. Do you get what I mean? I'm getting worried. More and more people are putting me into their own games. And while it's nice to be appreciated, it can be too much sometimes. When just saying these, these few lines, I know isn't even my choice. Anyway, you're probably tired of listening to me.
But maybe that was the creator's point. Whoever that is. Is a sick man. Or woman. I'm sorry for assuming gender. Hey! <laughs> it's a man. It's a man I can 100% guarantee it is. <laughs> anyway. If you ever run into him, do something for me. Kill him. Suck his finger. Wee wee. Oh! Oh, I'm, a, I'm psychic. I knew he was going to say that. Oh, how'd you do? How'd you, how'd how'd I, you do? How'd I do? <laughs> how'd you do? Dead. How do you do? Ah. <laughs> Figuring that we don't have any other choice but to fight. See ya. Actually, I've been thinking. What if we don't have to fight? Let's try something. Walk past me. That's right, just go. You can go to the next room. That or we'll have to fight. But if we do, promise me. At least try to spare me. Alright? Give it a shot. Damn it. <laughs> no luck, huh? Well, alright. Let's get this over with then. Can I save? <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit, you need to do the... Fuck! That's right. So we need to... Heal everyone, right? Yeah. So anyways. So your sister's okay? You brought her up. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think... Um, she... Could... Uh, benefit from some conservative thinking okay. <laughs> she's uh, uh jordan peterson has this thing and he says clean your room <laughs> and it's turned into a, like this internet meme but that's what he suggests if you clean your room and not just clean it but try to make it beautiful you'll learn what it means to wake up set out to do something and do it and then that sort of idea again this is really conservative thinking um, but again, it's pragmatic and it's useful. That sort of idea is how you expand that to maybe a week goal, to a month goal, to a yearly goal, to like what you want to do in life, you know? Um, and, it, and it starts with being able to just wake up in the morning, say you're going to change one thing about your room so that it's better, maybe five things if you get there, and then you, and then you do it. So it's like, it's all about asking that question in, in the, in the morning, like what can I do today that I am willing to do and will do if I set out to do it? So some people think, well, what can I do today? We'll say I can do these 10 things probably. probably. Then the next question, yeah, the next question is, will I do it? Am I, do I have, in my current state, do I have the will to do it? Um, and you have to be honest with yourself there. And if you can, uh, if you can set out to do something and you do it, and you feel a reward for that you know just just you don't even have to reward yourself physically you'll you'll just feel a reward for um having set a goal and reaching it because how often do we reach goals in our life it's yeah. like almost never because we think that they have to be these like amazing things way out in the future that you have to get to somehow um when that's just not the case oh my god um Jesus, what are those? <clears throat> the case is, you can set mini goals all the time. Damn, why aren't we doing anything to him? This is just how it goes. We're just oh. supposed to survive. Okay. But, uh, but yeah, so. Little goals, kids. I'm saying, like, fucking set up. I set, like, two hour goals. <laughs> like, by fucking noon today, can I have done my goddamn laundry? <laughs> I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, most people don't. Because y you tend to think, like, I have to do this, I have to do this, I have to do this, I have to do this. Well, I'm just not bad with time management. <laughs> yeah. I know what my limits are, and I don't exceed them. My room looks nice, though. It's as okay. clean as it can get. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a lot of room in there. Yeah, I mean, anytime you can sort of take a space or take something that you look at on a daily basis and make it beautiful... Uh, make it like more aesthetically pleasing to look at and and make aesthetic decisions about it not just what you think is clean or orderly but aesthetically you know when you organize your toys onto a shelf and you're like i like the way it looks I have toys. yeah <laughs> you mentioned me <laughs> yeah <laughs> when, when you organize them and you're like yeah i like the way it looks that way that it does that, feel good yeah it feels really fucking good and 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 because you're making a, a choice it's almost like it's your little creation here right yeah. it's, it's it's your art piece and uh, every time you bring art in your life, and this is what conservatives tend to miss, is how much we need art. Not like 
not just hippy dippy people or flowy, uh, you know, liberals who try to conceptualize art and think it's just like this transcended experience. It's like no, like pragmatically and economically, we need art to survive. Yeah. You know, whether it's uh, whatever you're doing on a daily basis. You know, you're a stay-at-home mom and you want to design the furniture. Or you want to organize it in a way that you think is aesthetically pleasing. That is right. engaging in a in an artistic process. You know. Um, so yeah. Anyways. Sometimes I poop and it looks like a snake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you're really proud of that shit. God. Literally. <laughs> Jeez. Anyways, we're fighting sons, so I thought we had to get deep. Sometimes I feel like just holding your sister and being like, "You're okay." <laughs> yeah. No, I feel I like she made me that sometimes. <laughs> Definitely do plenty of that. Nah, I don't know that well. <laughs> <laughs> Because we guys, she's been on here and she watched me sleep once. That's not the full story, but I'm sticking with it. <laughs> <laughs> Still embarrass her. Yeah. Embarrass, get it? There's bear in the word. I actually wrote her a story. Oh, cool. I should show it to you. Don't. Should tell it's me what fine. you think. No, yeah, it's all right. It's really short. Fine. It's a, it's a page. That's all right. <laughs> a page too long. <laughs> That's fine. I liked your last story you showed me. Oh, thanks. Your this one, like, I wrote it, like, sort of on an impulse. I had, like, an idea. That's a good way, good way to write. Yeah, I think so. I, I like the, the imagery and sort of the, the, the spine of the story, I guess. But mm -hmm. I felt like some details could have been fleshed out or some parts needed to be longer. So I might fix that. But And I got some I got some feedback today from some other friends. So, um, I think I'm going to give it to her for her birthday. When is her birthday? Monday. <laughs> <laughs> fine. I don't know her well enough to get her anything anyways. Oh, shit. You did it. I already gave her a fucking wristband. We'll just pretend that's what it was. There you go. You contributed to the peer editing process of the story that she's gonna get. Hey, I'll High just... Five. Yeah. Love you. Oh, Sister. I can fart. I can't. Let's <laughs> <laughs> try so hard. Can't. Hey. I recognize this place. Uh. John. <laughs> this is where we crashed last time, I think. When we oh, got, shit. When we get to, after this, we were okay. Nick. Oh, in the last room, huh? Yeah, the last la uh, lava. You son of a bitch. You already missed the last uh, three. Why does it matter? Uh, Alright, well. <laughs> Did you take it? I think. Does it matter? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think Fish went to sleep, right? Aren't we fucked? For code shit? I messaged him. Probably uh, fell asleep. Is it not happening tonight? <laughs> I told him that, uh, Red Sons. Oh. Uh, yeah, that was 30 yeah. minutes after he messaged us. He probably went to bed. Sorry, dude. <laughs> Whoopsie! Whoopsie daisies! Meanwhile, Nick went back to collect the last items. Yeah, this is where we crashed last time. So I'm a save! <laughs> well, don't we have to? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's the save. Look at that shit. Look at that meme. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Take a closer look at that meme. I, I thought it was Ah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> right. You're not in complete uh, constant sanic, and you can't change oh, to it either. Fuck, I remember. Stole everything. <laughs> we have to fight him. Do we? Remember? Did we get to... Oh, we do. We Okay, remember, take out all the minions first. Suck some dick. I can't wait. To suck dick, I mean. Oh, oh, right. Oh, God. Oh, my God, it's Shranic, the Harge Hag. The Ogre Hog. I don't know. I don't know. Hedgehog? <laughs> Hedgehogger. God. What are you doing in my swamp? Falcon? We almost got a movie. I ate the shaman's tool in the shed. He was looking kind of dumb with the finger made a thumb in the shape of an L on a forehead. Well, you better stop running. You must stop stop. Stop 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 stop. God. He died. Yeah. Turkey on. To his credit, this is actually intense. Yeah, we're gonna cut it real fucking short, but... I think you should be okay, because they only have one attack, right? Nice, you did it. Now we run! Rizzity run, bro. Run away! Saved. 
What do you think? Huh? What's up? I'm oh, just keeping an eye on the recording. Oh, okay. So this fucking crashes again, I swear to God. I'm not playing through this again. <laughs> Should we stop and start again? That's what I'm thinking. Alright. Oh, God, please. Please. Oh, thank God. Stop and start? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to... Gives it a cool. Let's give it a go. Shit! Up, down, left, right, up, down. Yeah, it's gonna be a bitch. Whatever. <laughs> I'll I'll resync once we get to the items. Sounds gizzy good, bro. Fuck. There's no portal. I'll have to take the long route. Oh no. Uh, uh, nice. Well, there was a lot of gas that just got released in this room. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so we did what we did in two hours in an hour. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That fucking extra half hour killed me. It really did. It really fucking did. Uh, Sanic! Sanic oh, the Horde Jaheg! Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. We got super close last time, I remember. Yeah. We got to the, like the second to last one. Okay, here we go. Do you have to. No, you don't have to press them again, right? No. Alright. I'm going into commentator Man, mode. Easy, thank God. Alright, here we go. The fuck? I will commentate on the next round. <laughs> what happened there? I don't know. <laughs> I guess it's off to the left a little? I guess. That was odd. Alright, here we go into commentator mode again. Here we go for try number two for Base Bear. He is just about to throw Shrek into the lava, and he is on his way out. Let's watch his thought process. Trick question. You can't watch a thought process. Apparently you can. What's the green text? Okay. <laughs> Nick seems to be walking carelessly down, but he's realized that there's no portal and he has to take the long route, essentially going back through all the areas he did before. Oh, we were supposed to commentate on golf. But as we see, as the omnipotent uh, uh, spectator to this show... Not omnipotent, omniscient is what I meant. Uh, we see that Shrek is on his way and therefore can control the player in a way that uh, is already assessing for that information. So this is an easy place because we already took care of the boulders. But now we got some twisty turnies going on. Maybe we should go left at some point. And now we should go down? No. Oh, maybe down now so I am now the master of this game apparently oh I remember he got stuck last time so here we are do it right. oh, oh yes. yes sorry I'm a commentator <laughs> it appears as though Shrek has been caught stuck behind the poor programming of this game if it crashes right now so base bear is going to suck some dick Sorry, is that what really? Oh, is that that? No, he said he's going Oh, that is freaky. <laughs> oh, God, go. Held in a bong hit, sailing in a hot tub in South Wisconsin. I feel amazing when I'm all alone. Switch between porn and Robocop. <laughs> I was just listening to that the other day. He's so good. I really gotta, I know he is. I really gotta build my library again. 130 gigs, and I have like 22. <laughs> Damn, that's not a lot. That's not a lot compared to what I used to have. Damn, what are you looking for? Where the fuck is my phone out there? I don't know. So. What time is it in Europe? In Europe? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and where Val is. Uh, it's probably, it's Ooh. about to be like 8 o'clock. Oh, okay. In the morning. Don't give me that small text. You'll need it. I'm Justin Bieber. Bieber? I'm Justin Bieber. Bieber? I'm Justin Bieber. Bieber? I'm Bieber. <laughs> <laughs> so since this will probably come out after uh, goodbye. Uh, uh, the Goodbye Neo um, thing, it must be kind of weird that I'm here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you said you were leaving. <laughs> You're still here. So... Uh, yeah, that's weird. 
Um, but I guess my question is, what did you guys think of that skit? It was a great idea. Did we do the I'm cheese thing? I'm not just saying that because it was my idea. <laughs> no, it was, it was a wonderful idea. Um, yeah, we did do the cheese thing. Okay, cool. So, um, what did you guys think of that skit? And should we parody more movies? I think it's a good idea. <laughs> I'm not just saying that because I'm biased. I'm just yeah. Saying that. <laughs> I'm just saying all my all my ideas, intros, and now movies kids they tend to be the best ones. <laughs> <laughs> that damn straight. Fucking goodbye Neo comes out negative three views. We get demonetized and God. like flagged for copyright. <laughs> Email from the racist PR guy. So you're saying like, please don't do that again. <laughs> Uh, gay people are unnatural, uh, and we're banning your channel. Is it the fucking racist PR guy again? Yeah. What a douche. <laughs> Letter from YouTube. We apologize for our PR guy. <laughs> so someone's missing a weapon. Oh, I remember. I don't want to do it, though. What is it? Uh, we have to go get Xander drunk and then fight him. Oh my gosh. Do we need those weapons? I don't know. <laughs> Fish suggested it. Yeah. I guess it might be the way to go. I guess. It's just like going to the first room, right? So if you, there's a portal here, you could just use it and... It's not that, it's just I don't want to fight him. <laughs> it's like super fucking hard. He was hard, wasn't he? Yeah. We do have a lot of shit in terms of staying alive. That yeah, would be fun. All right. Let's try it. Well, here we go, guys. Oh, uh, he's missing one again. I got the wrong button. Who am I hitting? Okay. Okay, so... Xander and Broccoli are missing their weapons. Okay. Why oh, is the fucking operating so goddamn slow? I hate this shit. <laughs> there we go. So is being we're slow. gonna hopefully bottle here. Yeah. So broccoli gets this. Yay! Hi, fart. That wasn't a fart. That was a. fart. That was a fart from you. Fart. Oh my god! I thought I like moved the <laughs> couch or something. I was like, I didn't fart. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> and you were like, I ah, know. <laughs> that was great. That was a great moment for Neo Bear. It's top twenty right there. Top twenty moments here on your on your game, yeah. fish. So my brother. Did not not like the best of. I sent him the little nightmares best of. Okay. And I mentioned that you're gonna probably be doing that while you're out there. Okay. And all he said was like, "Yeah, I can see how you can keep your show going with this." And I'm like, "Did you like it?" <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't texted me back. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess we'll see. Yeah. I mean, I guess I could do even more with it, like put little subtitles, like Markiplier and PewDiePie do. Oh. Wow. Yeah. yeah. If you're bored. <laughs> I can't imagine I will be. <laughs> how much shit I'm gonna have to do. Yeah. Especially if I get a job. I love how it all turns to rum. No other choice. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh whoa, boy. Whoa, whoa. Yep. Now we fight Etharn. Because he's a drunk he's an angry drunk. He is. He's one of those douchey drunks who gets really angry and violent. I never understood that. Like, when people, like, you hear the stereotypical abusive father who gets drunk all the time, get, comes home and is always violent, wants to, like, beat the shit out of poor defenseless people. Like, who gets that drunk and has, like, the coordination, energy, and, like, passion to do anything <laughs> like that? That took a turn that I did not expect. <laughs> Even, like, how morally could someone do that? No, I'm, well, obviously, morals get thrown out of the window when you're drunk, right? We all have do some pretty, not completely, but, like... People do stupid shit when they're drunk. Oh, yeah. Um, but, like, for the most part, they lose a lot of willpower, too. Like, how do they have the will to go home? <laughs> Come and here! Shit? Yeah. Put your face under my hand so I can slap you. <laughs> no, no, no! no. Uh, <laughs> you. I was gonna call you a bitch, but I'm really fucking tired. <laughs> Where are the kids? I was gonna. Ugh, I don't feel like. Huh? <laughs> I think That's how I imagine a drunk dad actually comes God. home. God. <laughs> I think it's because you're, like, an, a tired drunk. I guess. Like, oh yeah, I, I am sort of. Yeah, because I'm kind of like energetic. I get really fucking loud. Yeah. If if I am, um, as soon as I get past my my like talkative drunk mode, then it's just like. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of loud. I'm kind of mean. I'm really mean to Damon. Well, that's good. Yeah, but like I mean it like in a nice way. 
Don't we have special attacks, by the way? Yeah, but it's no point. He's dead. Oh. Oh, shit. It, it just took longer last time because I didn't have all the ultimate weapons. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, and I was listening to the drunk gaming. I, I brought this up. The Damon was just like, <laughs> Dinosaur, I'm a dinosaur, I'm a dinosaur, I'm a dinosaur. <laughs> just like seven <laughs> times, and no one acknowledged him. <laughs> So Damon is absolute psychotic drunk. <laughs> <laughs> like not even like scary angry, just scary like saying weird shit yeah. and you think he's gonna like skin your face when you're asleep. Yeah, like detached from reality. Yeah, it's super funny though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like he, uh, like what makes me laugh about the drunk gaming is where he's there. It's just like there's little silent comments that he makes <laughs> and like that he's been making the whole time, but... When I rewatch it, yeah, yeah, we're, we're all too drunk to hear his little things. But when I rewatch and edit it, I'm just like, God damn it, David! Just like a little, gotcha, <laughs> gotcha, <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> and then when he was doing the Superman's, like, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, also really bad at the games we play. I know, like I, he's a slow learner. Oh, but when okay. he gets good at games, he gets really good at them. But it's always like a process. It takes some time, man. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it looks like we have to fight Justin Bieber. Okay, so this is new. Okay, so basically he gets uh, exempt from the curse. Oh my god, Nicholas Bieber. Oh hey, in Terrabang. Hey. <laughs> I think you put that in just for you. Oh hey. Yay! Although it should be called a questclamation mark. <laughs> you got him. <laughs> <laughs> You should tell oh that to, to Babel. Uh huh. She'd be like, hey, baby, you wanna interro bang? <laughs> <laughs> Have really loud and confusing sex. Wow. Yes. <laughs> that that mini Justin Bieber up there is hilarious. Great. Sandwich make me strong. Alright. So I just realized it's the Justin Bieber song with uh, voice, funny voice guy. I didn't apply the alcohol to Ethan. Son of a fucking ass sucking bitch. Did someone die? Hell not. Next time, go like go down. <laughs> well, that was excellent. <laughs> Are you hearing the song? I'm hearing it. <laughs> it just took me a second. I was like, what? Okay, he'll die eventually. <laughs> You'll get there. Come on. There you go. Speed up. There you go. You did it. Baby, baby. Oh! <laughs> baby. Shit. Kill him. Kill Justin Bieber. Kill Bieber. Oh, so sorry. Yay. That was easy as fuck. Oh. Dude, we got so much monies from that. Hey. You know what's really funny? Like, seeing your computer and not being confused about the entire layout. What are you talking about? Like, I'm completely familiar with how to navigate through your computer now because I've had a Windows oh, for, okay. like, two weeks. <laughs> God. Was it confusing when you had your Mac? Yeah, I mean, some parts. Really? Yeah. Like, what? Yeah, the, the way that button down there, like, how you would just press this in the... Oh. Everything shut down and opened up something else and oh yeah. little like shortcut things yeah so. and uh, just like getting through your fi files <clears throat> makes more sense now uh, like getting through your file folder yeah uh, it's not too different from Mac but some some like no yeah, there's slight like differences yeah. I've noticed with the Finder on the Mac yeah yeah all right so we are in uncharted fucking territory now yeah this is actually really new and I can't save <laughs> well. That's great. So check everything. Yes, yeah. it's, it's probably gonna be in here, maybe. <laughs> All right, not this guy again. This is the end of the loop. The place where the curse ends. It cannot be infinite. There's no way to progress past here. Fantastic. Now it's put here to end you. Okay. Wait, who's this? Oh god, we fought him earlier. His name is Rock. Oh, I remember him. That's where. Oh, that is where you are. That was my wife. You killed them. Oh. Ow. Why'd you let me kill them? I'm sorry. And I am not Rock. I, I am, am Boulder. Brock. Dwayne the Rock Johnson? No. 
Yep. Oh, <laughs> Bell Rock. Come Fantastic. on, man. You really didn't expect that? <laughs> I don't know. I was starting to understand how yeah. Fish thinks. <laughs> how, his, how, his, how his weird little mind works. I like getting his, there. I like his tattoo. He's nice. Makes me want to... Makes me want to... Makes me want to do what I'm doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> Pingus Launcher. Launcher. I think Xander died. Did I? I guess this is what I get for going <laughs> naked without a weapon. Oops. <laughs> I'm just human. I don't know. You guys have swords and ships. What's your weapon? <laughs> oh, well, I may have died. I didn't... I didn't hear anything. <laughs> you just you didn't let you didn't let him finish. John and friends beat them to a bloody pulp. By the rock, Ooh. Johnson Dwayne. By the <laughs> by the by the Jainson Dwan rock. Good. By the Dwaxen. <laughs> Good job. Dwaxane. All right, we cleared all the rooms. Now what? I guess there's nothing left to do but take down Shrek. Let's go. Oh. How does he know where to go? We haven't taken we haven't taken Shrek down. Oh, oh there, he is. there he is. Oh, he's really fast because he's Sanic the Shrek Hoger. Yep. What? 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 What is happening? I have no idea. What? What? Fish was awake. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, something's happening now. Do we know what? Hey, you can simply save. That's tizzity tight. Ticks. You're I mean, dicks. Oh, he, he did, did die. Oh, damn. I was wondering. So, maybe revive him. <laughs> and, uh, put the thing on, what's his name? The no alcohol? Yeah. yeah. Who was it? Ethan. Ethan! Ethan! <laughs> Alright, so do we go through the portal? Civity save. Do we go through the portal? Do we go through it? I just left here, man. Do we go through the portal? Is that what we do? Uh, please don't. Please don't hit me. Please? Please? Oh, my burp alerpa. Yep. Warp unlocked? I think we had to unlock all the other rooms. And oh, son of a... Go through the center room. No, please tell me. Let's start from over here. So we go to the next room, go through the portal, unlock it, press, um, you know, put some poo-poo in her face. Some poo-poo in my face! It's four seconds into the day? <laughs> oh, never mind. Beautiful. I love the sound of boats in the night. So, yeah, I would go over and then go through. Yeah, you got it, dude. You fucking got it. Fucking got it. You got me. At hello. I got you, babe. <laughs> I got you, babe. I got you, babe. I got babe. Babe, babe, babe. Oh. oh. I got you, baby, baby, oh. Not giving back your baby, baby, oh. <laughs> gonna eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my baby, 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 oh. oh. Have you seen this baby, <laughs> baby, baby, oh. oh. Baby, 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 ho. Oh. You lost she it, baby? She works at a stripper bar, bar. She's too young for that stripper bar, but I forgot to raise her, so she's on the pole already, even though she's barely potty trained. That's really weird to think about, but people go anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Can't find my baby, 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 oh. You think I know after all the stripper bars that I go to, baby. <laughs> <laughs> baby, baby, ho! <laughs> She's only worth a dime, dime. It's like a really weird turn. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, dude. <laughs> Crazy, lazy, baby, ho! Yeah. Get a job, <laughs> you baby, baby, baby. Oh, no, oh. <laughs> oh, babies. Useless babies. <laughs> when was the last time a baby contributed to dinner conversation? <laughs> station? <laughs> oh no! 
broke it. Everyone, let's relax. Let's gather our thoughts. Let's swallow our pride. Cool. Okay. I didn't heal them all the way. Using the small ones. Oh. No. Come on, please. <laughs> please let Just me savvy. Make it a bit longer. <laughs> We're almost there, buddy. We're almost there. I mean, if you like take some like uh, confetti and like roll it up into a ball, then you'll have a ball of confetti. And on top of that, we're almost there. I don't know what I expected, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, man. Hey, it's Nizzity Nick, the fucking dick. Yeah, fuck you, you stupid bitch. <laughs> You're trying to kill us. Let's just call it even. Now give me your money. Oh, do we have new stuff, I guess? I guess we'll find out next week. <laughs> Here we go. What do you think we got? Nothing. New weapon? Do you think we got a new weapon? We don't need new weapons. We got the strongest weapon. Dude, you're totally, 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 totally right. Do we need, like, max potions or whatever? That's what I bought. Oh. I bought the... This kills everything. Oh. But we do need a lot more of this. Ow. Alright. So, I have a feeling we're gonna win no problem. But... Let's, you know, might as well go in preppered, right? Yeah, real peppered. No, preppered. Right. Peppers. <laughs> right, people. <laughs> We're getting further. Right, pineapples. Got it. <laughs> All right, so is there a way to read? Sign? Boss Rush. Oh. Easy because cheat. Look who's there. Oh, you woke up? Any rush. rush. Easy because cheat. Let's do boss rush first. Okay. Maybe they'll just let us skip to the final boss. Uh. Tell them we're at boss rush. God. <laughs> so you got a boss full of whole, uh, gold. Nope. Counterfeit. You get nothing. Oh, great. You can now teleport to the end of the boss rush. <laughs> That's a devil signal. Brujaria! Well, I guess normal mode, you'd actually be getting attacked right now. <laughs> oh, all the way to the end? Yeah. That would be annoying and tiring. <laughs> yes, it would. What do we win? You got nothing because you deserve nothing. Yay! It's like a middle finger from Lisa. True. You know what would be great? The game just crashed right now. Okay. Okay, so th so this would be rushes of em en enemies. Enemies. The other one would be rushes of boss. Rush. Fucking. You ass. okay, dude? <laughs> I'm having a stroke right now. All right, that's what's happening. Jesus. I'm having a stroke. A shrub of bully. Call the cops, please. Spittle. <laughs> Once this episode airs. Spittle. Call police. Spittle. Address one. Bleh. Bleh. North Bleh. Greenlandshire Avenue. Bleh. It's the purplish, uh, stupid house. Sarah Palin. Sarah Palin. Sarah Palin. Sarah... Blah. Blah. You almost there? Blah. Got it. All right, I'm back. Where are we going? I don't know. Why is it all dark? I don't know. Who is a boner? I don't know. I do. I don't know. What are you doing? I don't know. Why are you doing this? I don't know. What's happening? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what, what happened to Mega Bosses? What was that green switch? Really can't get through. What are you doing? What's going on? Oh. Fix it. Oh. Win game. Oh. What are you doing? Oh. Are we what to, ask him what to do now, because I'm fucking. I don't know what we're what doing. What happened to the green switch in there? I enabled it so that there's super bosses, but they're not popping up. Oh god, I found it. Uh. What is it? Oh. There was a boss. Was... Oh great. It's all of them. Right, do you think we're gonna win? No. Get crunk. Let's 
So do we just have to beat all of them in each room? I don't know, that's cool. So this is interesting. Mm -hmm. Did we win? Are we close? I don't know. Oh, wait, can we hit him this time even? I don't know. No. Ugh. It's so annoying. How long do we have to wait that out, do you think? Let's see. I'm gonna find out about Sin City Sands. Oh my gosh. So I guess we're uh, getting together tomorrow night. Will you be joining me? I don't know. We'll see. I would be really sad if you weren't. Fine. I'll go. Oh! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, they died. Oh, uh, Revival Herb for. Uh, butt face yeah actually I would attack with John and have Fish he heal because I think he attacks first or maybe either and attacks first yeah okay so they're all going first anyway. I can't yeah. hit them can't hit them it's all about just ah, 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 suck some dick suck some dick <laughs> I don't know how you're going to fit that back in there. Yeah. some dick. Sucking some dick. Chewing on dick. Chewing on dick. You're one step ahead of me right now. Don't know what to do. Uh, 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 uh. We're beating sense. This game is great. Base very loves it. Oh I can see it on his face. Ah, 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 ah. I'm going crazy. Why am I still doing this? Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> oh, no. Why? I don't like it. You play? Huh? No. Oh, he died. Thank God. Holy shit. Did it. There's more than one. Did he say we had to fight all of them? It's, he says there's one in every room except first and last. God damn it, I hate you fish. Well, at least we got two rushes out of the way. Sure. I mean, that would have made this game unacceptable, but... <laughs> I guess we can just go back rooms now. How many rooms are there total? Too many. Yep. I mean, the game's called Two Room. There's not. It's more than two. I feel like we got the hardest one out of the way. Probably, because that would be annoying to have to do. Why is there two? <laughs> Kill the sandwich first. Ow. Ow. Fuck the sandwich. Jesus. Oh, great. No. Don't the special attacks that you have, like, fucking wreck shit? No. Yeah. <laughs> Probably one at him, one at the other guy. Well, I guess if he just it moves over, right? Let's not do it at everyone. Oh. Or Timmy's buy items. Why? I don't know. That's odd. Maybe there was an explanation. Holy oh. shit. What did that do? Wow. Thank God. I missed him. Is he not dead? Sandwich? Oh no, why won't he die? Shit. What is this bullshit? We have to go heavy first. Heavy's protecting the sandwich. Oh. Thank God. 
God damn it. Just die. You got it. Did we win? Yeah. Yeah. Just <laughs> fucking taking for a load. Kaboom. Oh my god. He says this is essentially the last thing. Oh, uh, it's specials? Shut up, I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm just making suggestions because yeah, of. I'm doing it already. Just kill it. Yeah! That thing is ridiculous. Yeah, that attack is just... You could beat the game with it. It's a fucking idea. Thank you. <laughs> I heard the way to fix computers to hit it harder. Okay. <laughs> Learned that from my drunk abusive father. <laughs> oh, that's how you fix your children. <laughs> <laughs> Bam. Ow. Oh, I'm sorry. Stop me, Dad! <laughs> I don't hit you! Ah, take it back! Ah. <laughs> You're hitting me, I take it back! <laughs> I'll take it back if you stop hitting me! <laughs> I don't hit you! <laughs> uh, this is a boss from the beginning. Oh, shit. It's the thing we had to move out of the way, remember? Oh, right. <laughs> Holy shit. He is doing damage. He's doing damage, but it's... Why didn't you... Shut up. Base Bear, do I have to hit you again? Oh, please, Dad. Don't make me hit you. Daddy, no! Don't make me hit you. Daddy! Don't make me do it. No. Oh. <laughs> I like hitting you. It makes me laugh. Oh. Now bend over sideways. Oh! I can't physically... Oh! <laughs> There, okay. we're done. Literally just do that. Smack you now. Don't I have to feel dad. Oh, no. Oh. I have to feel. Oh, God, don't hit me, son. I have to feel dad. Oh, son. You're weak now. Oh, no. Weak like me. Oh, no. <laughs> Stop hitting me. Oh. I'm done. Are we good? No. Did we win? Dead inside. Are you good inside? You did it. Alright. <laughs> Just like one more. That would be nice. And then we're done with the game. You know, Wilfred wants us to play his other games. Yeah, I saw. <laughs> Here's the thing, Wilfred. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this in as much detail as possible so you understand the situation and, and what's gonna happen next. No. What just happened? <laughs> what just happened? What did you do? Oh God! Damn it! Okay, stop the recording so we can save it. <laughs> Item, skill, equipment, skill, item, skill. We'll go back from the break. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, not much of a break, more of a meltdown. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just fucking beat this game. We're gonna beat it. Think about the good things. We have a couch right now. Imagine if we were on fucking chairs. Oh, yeah, that would suck. Who the fuck is this? He's the ultimate boss. I would say go all your skills. An ultimate destiny. It's an awesome. 
It's the final countdown. It's the final countdown. Yeah. <laughs> that made me that sounded like we were on a mission of taking out all the cunts. Oh yeah, cunts. And this was the final cunt down. <laughs> I think you should probably oh yes. Nice. I, don't I was know gonna why say that happened the first time. I missed. Oh. Yeah. Coins missed. I wanna start playing Minecraft again. What? It's the exact opposite of this. <laughs> it makes me feel calm. Yeah. <laughs> the music like is nice. I just build things. What about um, that one game? Animal Crossing? I never played it. No. Should probably get it, though. It looks like it'd be fun. It's, like, super addicting. Is it? Apparently. Oh. Uh, but it's... It, like, in a I'm not, I'm not, I, haven't, I haven't played it, but... Yeah. You know, <laughs> but there's this thing you can do. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, really amazing. All you have to do is... <laughs> Three hours later. God. Yeah, it looks fun. What are you saying about it? God damn it. Um, it's it, like in a Minecraft sort of way. <laughs> addicting um, and therapeutic in that way. What the dicks? The Is there one. more? It's the last one. Okay. Because the first room was... Uh... Oh my god. Well, that'll be fun. Well, your special attacks go on to everyone, right? Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. <laughs> this just got a lot easier. <laughs> High five. Yeah, it's fine. Just do it. It's fine. I'm beyond pain. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, my God. You take your time, Dr. Willie. Wiley. <laughs> Wily Coyote. Okay. <laughs> we did it. We're done. That's it. Is that all the supper bosses? What about the breakfast bosses? <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> you uh, that's, that's the extent of my joke ability right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty done too. It's fine. Game's almost done. We're about to do it, man. Right. We're about to win the game. <laughs> Look, I made points. <laughs> I made them. God, I'm sorry. I'm thinking of Game Grumps. I'm not gonna look at this game, at this footage, <laughs> for at least two days. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll edit it together. <laughs> All you gotta do is a shit ton of shit. And I'll take two day breaks in between. Goodbye. Oh, cool. Turn into a box. What are you talking about? We're done. Got maxed items. Okay. <laughs> uh, do we have to apply them? I don't know. Just try one and optimize it. Oh. <laughs> Dark Rose? Nah. Nah. You meant something else. Like healing items. Okay. This is it, guys. I fucking hope, anyways. Here it is. Here we go. We're done. This is it. This is the end of the game. Fucking third. We're gonna be Shranic, the head, the hedgehogger. There you go. Please. Hello, Shranic, the hedgehogger. Gotta get your donkey. Donkey. Jesus. <laughs> Are you ready? Oh. It's gonna take one hit, and he's gonna die. I hope. <laughs> I hope against hope that that's what happens. <laughs> Up. You lied to me. Whoa. <laughs> this is more Whoa. than one hit. <laughs> oh, shit. So this isn't going to be easy. It's not. This is your fault. Here we go, guys. You misled me. I have a feeling the mic can't hear you back there. I'm dead inside. <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> Why did we decide to make a channel? Okay, we could have just masturbated each other off. I would have made you come so hard. We could have been doing that instead. I could have been doing that instead. But now I'm fighting a fucking Shrek.
the Sonic Hedgehog. I don't even know. I just want to go home. I'm already home. I want to go home. <laughs> I just want to go home, but like a mental home. <laughs> Somewhere where I'm not here. Yeah. <laughs> that shit hasn't hit once. Yeah. <laughs> That's your best attack again. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta find the little things in life and destroy them. Yeah. Like bugs. Fuck bugs, dude. Oh, I did the money thing. God damn it. What money thing? The cash thing. Ah, you cock licking ass. I know, I know. You make me want to rip the heads off of baby dolls. That's disgusting. Dude, it's a real baby doll. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus. Go the whole way, Base Bear says. <laughs> go home or go home. That's what I say. I don't remember yeah, the expression. Go home already. <laughs> <laughs> go big or go home or fucking leave. I don't care. <laughs> Just don't be here. Go away. I wonder if anyone like comes across this game randomly and just and just embarks. <laughs> and you know, and, and just like, all right, I'll bite. And and literally has that mentality constantly to where the point to they get to this part of the game, and they think, "Wow, I'm a like, psychopath. <laughs> like, there's no reason I should be here fighting Shranik the Horchhag." <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> what happened? What is happening? He came back. He's not on my side. I've been tricked. Apparently, we're st he's trying to stall for something. Yeah. Fucking do that cash flow thing. I, no shit. <laughs> 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 Oh my god. Oh my fucking god! What happened? John died! Oh no, and he didn't get to attack? No, oh, he didn't. No. Oh. oh, I eventually Nick got attacked, so he's dead now. Alright. No, oh, come on, please. What is happening? I called him back, so let's just focus on. Jesus fucking god. He's like one sh hitting and one shotting him. This is bullshit. Alright, so definitely hit with John and try to just keep everyone else alive and then heal John is priority. I almost want to say, like, have a backup. Gear Whoa. Nuts. Whoa. Oh. Yep, there it is. My god. You gotta do that. Yeah. I always forget that he hits both. Whoa. Who did that to him? Xander, I think. Well, my dick starts running. My dick starts running. My dick starts running. Dick, 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 dick. Let's see if we got any uh, advice from the maker. Um, yeah, whatever his name is. Kevin. Kevin. Help us, Kevin. JK, LOL, JK, I know your name, Dino Golfer. What's his name? Jesus Christ. Hey, we're actually doing pretty well.
Oh no. Jesus Christ. That's not good. That's very bad. Someone's gonna die right now. As long as not John. Oh. Nice. Regens. Smart move. Thanks, man. So he's dead. Please attack him. Ugh, it just doesn't do as much as you would think, as much as we want it to do. It's got a huge health pool, I think. Ugh. This is annoyingly annoying. Oh, no. Uh, I think we know we're gonna be. Oh my god, Justin Bieber. What's that happening? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try and leave, I guess. I guess if it makes us sit through one more fucking thing, I'm gonna poop in my pants. Poop. Uh. uh. You can't go through them? No. Oh, thank jeepers. Alright. So what do we do? Find the portal you can go through, I guess. There's the one. No. Came from there. That one. We did it. Oh. Woo. Oh. Alright, there's portals everywhere now. Alright. Playing portal. What? Can we go through the door portal? No. Are you sizzly, sizzly sure? It's not opening. Well, good. Oh. Well, it's a portal. I'm playing Earthbound. <laughs> oh, no. They're oh, trying to get rid of us. Man. It was all a dream. He said something that wasn't woe. He said no. That's Xander. Oh, damn it. I forget. What shark Who trying to become, Xander? No way. Oh, my God. A Super Saiyan goat. <laughs> <laughs> did you get a funny image right now? <laughs> yeah, I did. Yes, I did. <laughs> oh, no. Is this like Super Saiyan 4, the one that goes red and black for some reason? Different from all the... You haven't seen Dragon Ball Z in a while, huh? It's been a long time. <laughs> Isn't it the fourth one? Super Saiyan God is where the hair turns blue. Oh, my God. Yeah. But the fourth one is red, isn't it? Well, they just have a lot of hair. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it's black, but it's fucking all the way down yeah. to, like, the floor. They have red fur on their arms. Yeah. Monkey thing, man. You got the basic idea. Something that like that. <laughs> I like one? how they spend entire episodes on transitions between Super Saiyans. It's great. Yeah, them screaming for 20 minutes. <laughs> it happens. And then they recap the recap. <laughs> they recap the screaming. Oh, Ethan spoke something. Was that Ethan talking the entire time? I guess time? so. Oh, I never wanted to say whoa. What did it... And can't you see, John? This isn't a joke anymore. But. Eh, alright, once more, for all time's sake. Whoa! Whoa. Oh, well. Whoa. whoa. He's gonna go kill himself now. Goodbye, Ethan. You were my favorite. He actually was my favorite. Really? <laughs> yeah. I think my favorite was Fish! Fish! I like the way he spells it. it makes yeah. me satisfied. Ethan was just a no nonsense motherfucker. He really was. He saw something and it made him excited. He said, whoa. Whoa. Ethan! Girly. By the power of love, destroyed the energy portal and the curse was lifted. However, the cost was heavy. So Ethan died. It was like 27 pounds. It's oh pretty my heavy. God. Ethan! I just realized it's still the fucking Smash Mouth song, but played slow. Oh my god. <laughs> what? You're right. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing we can do. He's gone, but he saved all of us. That makes it a little better, right? A heavier ending than I expected. Oh no! 
Ethan, I had grown so attached to your woes. No. No, don't say it's not over yet. <laughs> no, Xander, it is still over. I don't care. I'm going to kill him. Here we go. One more boss battle. No, oh, please. Just let it end. <laughs> One more boss battle, Base Bear. Are you ready to go? It just blurted out. He said, whoa. It blurted out. Look, I found this. Are those... Fuck, dude. His glasses. All we have left of him. Scatter and the power of glasses. <laughs> Scatter and the power to see better. <laughs> Scott Earn, the power of power. You all can leave it, I'll do it myself. Love. Scott Earn, the power of love. He's useless. Oh, Scott Earn, sure. the power of self respect. The energy that he did obtain, he'll be Scott Earn! Uh, Even us five might. Sorry, I mean. Sorry, I mean. <laughs> us four. Stop. Just try and put my hand on your thigh. Stop trying to hold it. <laughs> Still might not stand a <laughs> chance. <laughs> If you know anyone who could help, give them a call. Ghostbusters! Da, 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 da. Thank you for understanding. I know it might just get the house cursed. Again. But we need to stop him. Also, there's your brother. Him, I couldn't give two fucks about him. Alright, he's related to Dickless Beaver. Really? Without his help, you'd have been dead a very long time ago. Or maybe not. I don't fucking <laughs> I think he's better than he seems. I guess you're right. Scatter in the power of correctness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, take your time. You're still recovering. Sayonara, bitches. Here, look backwards out. <laughs> <laughs> He's moonwalking. Oh, God. Dots. Whoa. That felt good. I did. <laughs> you want to play more Fiish no, games? No. Not right now. <laughs> Maybe we'll do Legacy of World later. E M D. This, this game, game is, is over. over. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> We're friends! We're friends! We are friends! Oh my god! Caress your face. That's my friends. <laughs> Jesus. Credits. All the credit goes to the players for surviving. <laughs> Earthbound and song. Ethan's theme. Justin Bieber plus heavy. Kirby, Mega Man. <sighs> Meditant. I like he put a YouTube link for <laughs> one of the music. Indeed he did. Pingas. <clears throat> Pokemon Go songs. Pokemon Go is an original soundtrack? That's so funny. <laughs> yes. Yeah, bitch. Oh my god, my head. I hit your head. You hit me in the head. I hit your head. You hit me I want me your in ribs. Oh, Give no. them to me. No, not like this! <laughs> ah! <laughs> I was sucking on his beard strands. Doorbell, me. Did he make the doorbell sound? Did he record it? was like, doorbell? ding dong! <laughs> Jurassic Park T Rex. For the dragon? Yeah. I love that he's using an epic version of this. Yeah, I dig it. <laughs> the song, I mean. I'm gonna look it up later to hear it more clearly. Oh boy! So, are you glad we did this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that we have such great fans oh, God. who want to subject us to this. to this. But I guess this is what we deserve, right? For being terrible? Is, <laughs> isn't this how we grow as people? I had a mental breakdown for 30 seconds. <laughs> So yeah, I guess. <laughs> but now you know how to deal with life a little better. No, I don't. I just know what's capable of breaking me. <laughs> but you also know what's capable of growing you. Not this. <laughs> That's knowledge. I guess. <laughs> but Sonic the Shrekhawk, me, I'm proud. <laughs> you should be proud. You did a thing. 
You created something. Please don't submit anything again. <laughs> He's trying to. I know. Alright guys, next game we're playing is The Legacy of Woe I don't know about by that. Fish. I don't know about that. <laughs> oh, I do. And the answer is no. <laughs> the answer is no, Fish. There's too many games and life is too short. <laughs> We just hit 5,000 subscribers. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> I'm, I'm judging for how long it will take you to re-engage with this and finally edit it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Why did, why did Beowulf send me a bunch of weird shit? It's pictures from her trip. Why? I don't want to join you, but I'll join, I guess. What? Just look at them, Jesus. I don't want to. Alright, then don't. Are there boobies? Then why would I look at them? I can show you some boobies. Alright, go for it. Here we go. Are they your boobies? Oh, yeah, sure. He's a boobies right now. All right. Oh, look. Ready for a sick boob right now? Look at this boob. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> I am the boob. Send that to me so I can put it up. <laughs> sick boob! Ah, boob! I have videos of my tattoo. Nice. I guess it turned out the same. Yeah, I mean, that's like sideways, but yeah. No, no, it's one more. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you are, hint pro tip, you're not. Because nobody's watching this. Right? It's still me. <laughs> Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. But boy, did I ignore them at that. I'd be fine. I wasn't. Keep going. Special thanks. For who? My boy John, the guy you play as. Paul Arino, Neo and Marco Player. Holy shit. We got a special thanks. Paul Arino, we get special thanks. Yay, Marco Player. Thanks, Let's dude. Let's hear it. Got it? Because Neo <laughs> and Bear. They By the way, that's Neo Bear. Name. Get it? Because Neo and Bear, they have a creative name. You can find them on YouTube. They play my game and are cool. All right, I take it back. This was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> and with that credit... You have relinquished <laughs> all guilt. All anger is gone. All anger for what we have just experienced Not has been removed. Not even because he, like, gave us a shout out. It's just because he was nice enough to actually tell us, like, you know, thanks. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Fucking off. Okay, please. Just, let, me just, let me just get through this, all right? Ah, uh, <laughs> I don't have all codes. <laughs> I missed her first one, like I know that for sure. Well, okay, bye then. Cool, we're done. We did it. We're done. I'm gonna. That's it. We're done. High five. Good job. Ready? Stop recording now.